Welcome to Peptic Ulcer Disease Concept Map from Zoom Out Pharmacotherapy. This map covers the key points in peptic ulcer disease, like types, clinical presentation, complications, etiology, risk factors, diagnosis, treatment, patient education, and follow up. Now I'll go quickly through the map to show you the interrelated links that will help you to understand and memorize the topic. Peptic ulcer disease occurs when the aggressive factors in GIT overwhelm the defensive factors in it causing disruption of mucosal integrity of the stomach and or duodenum which is greater than 5 mm in size. Disruption site indicates ulcer type, which could be esophageal, gastric or duodenal. Peptic ulcer disease clinical presentation varies from patient to patient. It could be asymptomatic in some patients and could show some signs and symptoms that help in distinguishing the type of ulcer or that may indicate peptic ulcer complications. Peptic ulcer risk factors are stated in this mind map. The modifiable risk factors of cigarette smoking, alcohol, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and psychological stress are linked to lifestyle modifications as part of treatment measures and to patient education as it's an essential part of it. The three main causes for peptic ulcer disease are helicobacter pylori, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and severe physiological stress. Zollinger Ellison syndrome, as a hypersecretory state, is considered one of the uncommon causes of the disease. Let's have a look at non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This diagram shows the mechanism of their action and the resulting effects including the undesirable ulceration. NSAIDs induce risk factors are all collected in this image, so you can easily remember them especially while assessing or educating a patient. Each cause of peptic ulcer disease is linked here with the corresponding treatment or preventive measures, but let's first have a look on how the etiology is detected in order to choose the right treatment regimen. Diagnosis of peptic ulcer consists of radiographic and or endoscopic confirmation, history, and special tests for certain cases. Radiography is usually replaced by endoscopy, as it's more sensitive for small ulcers, and it allows for getting biopsies for further investigations. Procedures for detecting H. pylori should be done for all patients, and it's divided up into endoscopic or invasive tests, and non-endoscopic or non-invasive tests among the endoscopic tests. The test of choice is rapid urease test. The test that is used for diagnosis of H. pylori and for following up its eradication is called urea breath test. Let's now move on to peptic ulcer disease treatment. Pharmacological treatment acts to eradicate H. pylori if present, so antibiotics are used. Besides, medications that neutralize and suppress acid production and others that protect the mucosa? 
H. pylori eradication therapy consists of antimicrobial agents plus ulcer healing agents. Note that 14 day triple therapy is more effective than 7 days. For refractory ulcer, the 4 drug regimen is used. Regarding SED induced ulcer treatment, it depends on proton pump inhibitor therapy plus cessation of NSAIDs. To prevent NSAIDs induced ulcer with patients in need of them, one of these regimen must be followed. This table helps you to choose the right regimen according to gastrointestinal and cardiovascular risk. Check the table and find out why the cardiovascular risk is considered here. You have your measures that should be taken to prevent stress related gastric ulceration. And finally, treatment of Zollinger Ellison syndrome. The table here provides you with the most important information about medications used to neutralize and suppress acid production and those that protect the mucosa. As you see, the table includes mechanisms of action, adverse effects, drug interactions, precautions, and contraindications. Concerning patient education, it should cover lifestyle modifications, as stated before. Besides, information about medications, like side effects of metronidazole and administration of proton pump inhibitors. Follow-up measures are determined according to the type of ulcer and the etiology as well. This was an overview for peptic ulcer disease concept map from Zoom Out Pharmacotherapy website. It's recommended to watch this video several times. Pause whenever needed to study the details from the map, then listen to the video without watching and pause frequently to test yourself. For more about peptic ulcer and other diseases please visit www.zoomout-ph.com.